Awesome. Are you ready to learn some amazing balloons? Yeah. All right. I have my laptop here. So I'm running on a 15 second delay, but I can see everything everybody sees. So is everybody ready to twist along with me? All right, guys, you're going to need a 260 balloon. Grab one. Also, before we start, I want to thank Qualitex for inviting me. You're awesome. And Dom and Keith for hosting this. They've been up for like five days without any sleep. It's crazy. Okay. Are we ready to learn balloons? Get a 260. I want you to inflate it. Three quarters of the way. Three finger bubble. One pinch twist. And a second pinch twist. Okay? Now, I come up with these cool balloons. These are called wheel balloons. Can you see that? You can buy these at La Roque's Fun and Magic. If you don't have these, you can just use a normal round black balloon. When you use these though, do not over inflate them. You want them about this size. Nice and soft. Okay. You're going to split them exactly in half. When you split them in half, you're going to get the print on one side and then the print on the other side. Okay? We're going to twist into the two pinch twists. Once you've done that, sort the print out so it's equal on both sides. Everybody see that? Okay, from there, three finger bubble, and then two small pinch twists. Like so. All right, you're going to get another black round balloon or my awesome wheel prints that you can get at Little Rocks Fun and Magic. Soft inflate. Make sure the print is pretty even after you've blown up and split in half. Like so Tag it a blank. So I have to say this is really weird because I'm working off three cameras here. There's me doing what I'm doing and then 15 seconds later I'm looking at me do something like 15 seconds ago. So my class is going to be about line work. This isn't going to be about amazingly cool balloons. It's about amazingly cool quick balloons that you could do when you have hundreds of kids in front of you. So, you have this. Okay? At this stage, grab a clear 260. Oh. 
You don't need to inflate it a lot. We're going to run the clear 260 from the front group of pinch twists to the back group of pinch twists, like so. Cut off what's left. All right. You are the beginnings of a really, really quick car. What you now want to do is the end where the nozzle is, you want to grab the nozzle and twist that into the pinch twists. All right. This, the end, three finger bubble, and another three finger bubble. And it's going to go in between the pinch twist there and the clear balloon there. They are brilliant balloons, right? They make making cars and line work ridiculously easy. All right. Cut off what is left. There you have your quick car. Okay? Ridiculously quick and looks like a car. Now, from this base, you can add more to it. So, I did a bulkier car and all I did was I ran the 260 up and back and down up and back and down up and back and down okay that bolted up if you want whoa, lost the balloon somewhere okay all right now is that good all right so next, what we're going to learn is a quick and cute Baby Yoda. Who likes Baby Yodas? If you like Baby Yoda, give me some green hearts on the screen so I can see Baby Yodas. Baby Yoda, do 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 do. Baby Yoda, do 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 do. Baby Yoda, do 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 do. Okay, this is also my line work. I can do this really, really quickly. You just need two 320 cues, a blush round, a 260 mocha, and a lime green 260. Yay, green hearts for baby Yoda. <laughs> All right, what I want you to do is we start with the 320 cues, 321 cues, like so. Okay. When you inflate these, I want you to hold. Don't inflate them right from the nozzle. You want to get the air to start from there and go down. So what you want... You want it like that. You want like a nice long bit and then tie the nozzle there. Okay, you're going to need two of those. And obviously you want them both the same size. So from this, you're going to put a pinch twist in one. You want to get your pinch twist as small as possible. I find my first pinch twist is always bigger than the second one. Go ahead and put a second pinch twist in there and try and get it smaller than the first one. So you have one 320Q with two pinch twists. One slightly larger than the other one. Okay? 
And you're going to do the same. You're going to match the same on the other one. You want to go as small as you can with your first pinch twist. And then an even smaller one there. Okay. That's something like this. Squeeze the air a little bit. If you have any tail. Okay. You next, you want to find where the 321 starts to taper. About there. Twist it. Okay. That twist is going to go into these 320Qs, the other ones, the pinch twist, and wrap it around. And lock it in. So you have this. You're then going to find where the other 321Q tapers, twist it, and wrap it back into the other ones, like so. You have this. You can shape the ears if you want. What you want are the bigger pinch twists on one side and the smaller pinch twists on the other side. Okay? Is that cool? All right, now you're going to need a blush five inch round. to inflate it. You're going to push the blush five inch round into the middle and twist that up. Bad me. Into the middle. Right in there. And just loop it around one of the pinch twists. That's just to keep it in place for now. Make sure both Baby Yoda's ears are sticking up in the same direction. Very important. Don't want wonky ears. Baby Yoda doesn't look like that. He'd be sad. I want Baby Yoda's ears to bend up. Okay. Now that you've done this, I want you to inflate another, well, A260Q, Boca brand. All I'm doing here is uh, John Gonzalez baby body. We're just not going to loop it over the top. You're just going to do the bottom bit around. So, you're going to need a pinch twist, a small pinch twist. Like so. We're going to measure the front. Do another pinch twist. Okay. You're going to go all the way around. And lock in place. You now have this. This is going to wrap around the blush. Round. Like so. Now with this bit you've got left here. Cut it. Let the air out. Wrap it around the pinch twist. And then what you're going to do to fully secure the head is the scrap is going to come up through the pinch twist and back down. Okay. And go wrap, down, wrap. Like that. Okay. That holds the head in place. Okay. Like so. Now, like I say, these are my line work balloons. These are the balloons I do when I have hundreds and hundreds of kids in front of me. 
So, you can cheat at this point. You can actually turn around and just put a face on, and then you can give it to a kid, and the kid can roll around and love it and go, yeah, baby Yoda, do 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 do, baby Yoda. If you want to add more detail, grab another lime green 260Q. Doesn't matter how much you inflate it, you're only going to use a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to put three pinch twists in this. One, two, three. And kind of make a triangle. Pinch twist, pinch twist, pinch twist. There's your two fingers. We're going to put this bubble here into that join on the pinch twist there. Wrap it around. Like so. You're going to wrap it back around the head. If you want to, you can pop this and add it here. I find from my line work, popping something and then tying it back in takes too long. So I just push it under and wrap it back around the other pinch twist like that. Okay. Then you're coming up this side. Two fingers. Pinch twist. Change twist and another pinch twist. All right. There's your quick baby Yoda. Right. And then just add your artwork. I'm running on a time limit here. So I'm going to try and do as many different balloons as possible. So I don't need to teach you how to put two eyes in a smiley face on a balloon. You should know how to do that. All right. So Baby Yoda. Is everybody happy with Baby Yoda? All right. Next, I'm going to teach you a technique and a lizard. Okay. So you need three green 260 cues. You can use any other color, but lizards are normally green. All right. You're going to do a three finger bubble and a three finger bubble. Put them together. Loop the nozzle through like that. I want you next to do a pinch twist. You're going to do another three finger bubble, another three finger bubble, and another three finger bubble. It's basically like a basic dog, but you have a pinch twist here. This is the basic dog body. On the back, you're going to put two pinch twists. One, two, like so. Okay. It's pretty basic body. It's just got some extra pinch twists in. Get rid of the... Oh. I nearly, nearly messed up there and told you to get rid of it. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run some bubbles, three bubbles across here. One finger. Sorry about that. My wife just called me. All right. So we have this, one, two, three, and a little bit of a tail. Cut off that tail. Wrap it around and cut. There's some friends who saw me teach this at Capital Convention and they love this lizard. I like this lizard too. This lizard is actually like my reptile, my go-to line work reptile that I turn into so many different things. So you have this. 
Okay. Next, we're going to grab a 260Q. We're going to make a really, really curly tail on this lizard. All right. To do this, you're going to need a ridiculously, ridiculously deep tulip plum twist, whatever you call it. All right. There are many ways of doing this. They are all the ones where you like stick your finger in, lick your finger and stick it in. I don't think anybody needs to be doing that anymore. <laughs> all right. You can like blow up the balloon, make a bubble and push it in. The quickest and the easiest way that I do this in line work is I turn the balloon inside out like this. Okay. You want to turn the balloon halfway inside out. If you turn it more than that, you're going to lose it. So, see if I can get a good line on that. The balloon is tucked now inside the balloon. Okay? So, when I blow this up, it's going to pull like so. Alright, everybody see that? Okay, the, if you want it to be curlier, pull down and shape. You just have to pull the middle of the balloon out and it'll shape it more into a curve. When you're tying this end, middle of the two and tie. So like I said, guys, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. Really, really quick, fast, deep tulip twist. You can use these for letter C's. For you, you know, really, really fast. Anyway, with the uninflated bit, you're going to tie this into the two pinch twists, like so. And then you can cut off what is left. There we go. So it's like that. All right. Now, all you have to do is make the head. All my reptile heads, I work off the same pattern. Uh, Two sixty, about three quarters. It a little bit of a tail, not too long. Pinch twist, another pinch twist. So you end up with that. Measure three fingers, then come back into the group of pinch twists. You have this, measure three fingers, and you're going to come back into the group of pinch twists at the back. Arrange them like that. Okay. Now you're going to need a round white balloon. Small. You're going to split this like so, and you're going to push it from the inside. So one bit of the round balloon is going to stick out that side. One bit of the round balloon is going to stick out that side. When you do this, it's going to push these two together like that. All right. So this goes in this side. So, and then this goes in the other side, like so. See where it started to push it together? All right, next, this long tail, you're going to wrap around the front of those group of balloons. So it goes around.
like so. You see that? Right. So this is my lizard head, or a dinosaur head, or a snake head. It's really simple. What you're left with, you just need a little bubble. That is going to wrap around the front of your lizard by that pinch twist. Okay? And then you cut off what's left. Right. Then you have your baby lizard. All right. This is the artwork I put on my baby lizard. Baby lizard. Now, does everybody like Toothless the Dragon? If anybody had any requests for Toothless the Dragon, give me a black heart if you want to see a Toothless the Dragon. All right, Toothless the Dragon is exactly the same as my lizard. All I do is I make him him black. All right. I don't put the curve on the tail. Instead of running the balloon inside out, I give him that shape on the tail. And then I run the bubbles up. The body is exactly the same. The head is exactly the same. All I do is I give him green eyes. Instead of giving him a green body, I give him black all over. Then, I just put wings on it. So, this is this with wings on. I add some ears as well. So when I start the head, I don't start at the pinch twist. I make a three finger bobble. I then do the two pinch twists. I then do the regular head. And when he comes up, I end up with the ears on this side. <laughs> Drag the balloon on the floor. I like that. I'm going to have to use that one. All right. So this is a two for one. All you're doing is the same thing and just adding wings. So you don't have to learn anything different. I'm all about this, especially when I'm doing line work and I've got hundreds of kids. I don't want to have to remember, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? If I'm doing the same thing over and over and basically changing the color and adding something to it makes my life so much easier and i hope it makes your life so much easier as well all right do you guys like to see more wheels and cars this is my baby tractor a little lawnmower this is super simple and easy to do as well it's going to take two balloons and two wheel balloons you ready for that guys all right, you're going to need a green 260 cube. You're going to put one pinch twist in, two pinch twists. So I do my pinch twist. All right, put the nozzle back in, do a two finger bubble and a one finger pinch twist like so I'm going to measure three fingers and put a pinch twist in I'm going to measure three fingers put another pinch twist in two fingers put a pinch twist you're now going to make this bubble the same size as this bubble. Put another pinch twist in. And then bring it back like so.
So that took one balloon with the scrap, get rid of it. Okay, so pinch twist, pinch twist, two finger bubble, pinch twist, two finger bubble, pinch twist, four finger bubble, pinch twist, two finger bubble, pinch twist, four finger bubble. That's it. Okay. All right. Next, you want a yellow 160 cube or a 160. You want to measure that to the space. Make the bubble, bring it back, make another bubble, tie them together, like so. You want to break this, the tail off, and save it. Let me use it in a second. You don't let it deflate, otherwise you're wasting your time. Oh, I just dropped mine. This pressure fits into this space here. If you're afraid that the kid is going to rip it out, wrap the scrap around one of the pinch twists. Doesn't matter which one, if you put the scrap in that side, that side, that side, or that side, whatever is easy. All right, that just fills that compartment. Your next, these awesome wheel prints again, Lorox Fun and Magic. They are made by Qualitex as well, I do have to say. They're just specially printed by me and Lorox Fun and Magic. Okay. We're going to add the wheels to the front pinch twist. Oop. Apparently, they're going to be added. So you got the front wheels, add it to the front. Now you're going to add the back wheels to the back pinch twist there. Not the middle pinch twist, the back pinch twist. Okay. Split them. I always make My back wheels a little bit bigger than my front wheels because tractors are like big wheels on the back. And that adds there. And I just dropped my yellow 260 and I'm not climbing all over my equipment so I'm just going to blow up another one. With what you had left from the compartment, you're going to make two loop twists. Thirty minutes left, and then the convention ends. Bad news. We got a special surprise for everybody uh, in the uh, the final segment. No, no twisting. Just Keith and Dom being awesome as they are. All right. Okay. So you twist those two loop twists into that middle pinch twist there. That pushes the wheels down because before it was going up, and that gives you. 
your lawn mower look. Okay. So really, really fast line work for kids, tractor, and John Deere as well. You can do other colors for other things, but I live in the South. Everybody is a John Deere tractor fan. So, John Deere tractor. All right. Next. All right, I'm going to teach you my princess body. So I don't want to be all about my wheel prints because I know some countries can't get them. So I'm going to teach you how to do my princess body. I used to do uh, the flower weave with the six balloons that looks like a flower. And that used to be my princess body dress. But for some strange reason, the kids, when I gave them to the kids, especially outside, would always end up popping the loop twists. They would friction burn on each other. And it's it, they just look messy. Once one's popped, it was just a mess and I didn't like the way it looked. So after years of using that flower dress, I actually stopped using it. And uh, I came up with more of a triangle shape for the dress. Uh, and it only takes two balloons. The other thing about if you ever do, you know, the flower, rose, well, whatever it's called, you know, you have three balloons for the dress, then you're another balloon for the corset. Where, so that's four balloons just for the dress. Uh, I just used two for mine. Um, obviously, you can change the color. This is Belle. Uh, you can do a pink dress. It's Aurora. Blue dress. It's Sleeping Beauty. Dark blue and yellow, uh, snow white. Okay, so I'm going to do a yellow bell. It's actually golden rod I use for bell. Uh, you're going to need two golden rods. You're going to inflate them three quarters of the way. Okay, so you have that much of a tail. When I do this, I always inflate two balloons at the same time when I'm working. I have a double pump. A lot of people know that I have a double pump where I'm blowing up balloons at the same time. I don't tie these separate. I learned this from being a decorator as well. I will tie my 260s around each other and twist them together. Okay. So I've saved time. I haven't tied a knot and then another knot. It's just two. So pinch twist. Thank you, Jane. Pinch twist. So one pinch twist in one balloon, one pinch twist in the other balloon. That tightens them all together, gives you a nice start. You're going to measure three fingers and twist them both together. Okay, so you now have this, pinch twist, pinch twist, and two three finger bobbles. You're now going to follow what you did here. You're going to put a pinch twist in one balloon and a pinch twist in the other balloon. So you have this, two pinch twists, two three finger bubbles, two pinch twists. I'm now going to do another two three bubbles and another. Oh, popped a balloon. Wah. So when you do this, don't pop a balloon. All right, so back on track. Pinch twist, pinch twist, three finger bubble, three finger bubble, pinch twist, pinch twist, three finger bubble, three finger bubble. This is the corset. This is going to be the bottom of the dress. When I measure out from the dress, I measure three fingers. And then I put another pinch twist in, three fingers, 
and then I put another pinch twister. So you have this design going on. I then go up to that family of pinch twists there. And then the same on this side. So whatever you do with one balloon, you measure on the other side. So you end up with this. Now if you've got a huge line, you can just leave this body, get rid of these. You've got, you know, a triangle dress. What I do though is I, with what's left, squeeze them to get some more air in. This one wraps around to the back and ties in like that. So it's gone all the way around, looped underneath and tied back in. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with the other one. It's going to loop all the way around and tie back in. ended up with one balloon bigger than the other one because I had a pop so I added another balloon. Again, you can be done with this if you want. That's a pretty good dress. Uh, you can wrap this all the way around again and that will hide the pinch twist there. Or if you don't have enough just bring it down in the middle, on the front, into the pinch twist, and the same on the back. This is the body you end up with. I find that this body lasts longer. It doesn't tear apart or the kids don't pull it apart like, like they do with the flower weave dress. And I don't want to have to go back and make my work. I hate it when I have a line of people and I'm making a princess and I get like a tug and I look down and there's a kid going, my princess came apart. Can you fix it? And I'm like, I want to, but I have to. So when I make this, the only thing a kid can do realistically is pull this up and it's an easier fix than having to do that flower weave and pulling it back through and pulling it back through and pulling it back through. So that's my basic princess dress, okay? Now from here, all I'm doing is adding the basic arms and the body. Now if you want, you can get those really nice quick link prints with the faces on. Jackie does a really nice well, eyes, they're really cute and adorable and you put it on and then you do it. But this is line work, I'm trying to work fast, I'm trying to work economically such a big grown-up word economically so to do this all I do is a three finger bubble I wrap it into the two pinch twists at the top everybody should know how to do this four finger bubble for the arms a little bubble Another little bubble for the hands. Wrap it back into the two pinch twists. Like so. And then push it down in front. Okay. We now have that. Now, with the hair, 
you can do a 160 or a 260. 260 is going to make it look bulkier. If you do a 160, it's going to look daintier and prettier. It's up to you what you keep with your balloons and your line work. I'm going to put a 160Q on here because I did in the demo, I did a 260 so you can see the difference. So a loop twist and a pinch twist. I'm not creating anything new here. Everybody should know how to do this. I just wanted to show you the dress body. And then a loop twist on the back. Put my pinch twist not front and back but side to side okay so that's the difference between a 260q head and a 160q head all right everybody happy with that would you like to see more okay you guys want to see more vehicles or something different All right, I'm going to teach you. This is my really, really fast, I call it a character car, because all I do is I add my wheels to a quick link and then a print of any superhero, princess, ninja turtle, Star Wars character, Qualitex has so many of these, so this is really, really fast. All you're going to need is a quick link, a character, this one's going to be Spider-Man. So, we have Spider-Man. A quick link. All right, so Spider Man quick links a little bit bigger. Push all the air to the nozzle of the quick link, grab your print, and you're going to push it in nozzle to nozzle. All the way into the balloon you want to grab the nozzle through the quick plate and turning it around now a lot of people I know will just wrap the tail around because I'm putting extra pressure by attaching something like the wheels I wrap the scrap around a couple of times and tie them up You have this, okay, and a scrap. Doesn't have to be a long scrap like that, but you just need a scrap. Then, guess what? Another wheel print. With these, I like to make them pretty much the same size. Find the center and twist. Try and make them both the same size. If they're not, let the air out of one a little bit. So you get them where you want them. And the prints kind of lined up. The biggest problem is trying to line the prints up through these because you're distorting the balloon as you twist. So grab, grab your first wheels. Look at that. Spider-Man on a Segway. 
Screw up your second set of wheels. We're going to wrap this around the second like so. And I have to excuse the barking if you hear the barking. My wife just came home and the dogs are upstairs going, Ooh. Mommy, 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 Mommy's home. Daddy's in the basement playing with balloons and he's not paying any attention to us. So. Very, very quick character buggy car. You can leave it like that. Like so. Or you can add, as I did with the Batman, I just added a 260 around it and gave it some extra. But it's pretty cool the way it is. You know, you give that to a kid. And the kid's going to go, no way, it's a, Sp a Spider-Man car. And he's going to play with it. Right. So I have like 10 minutes left already. Can you believe that? We've got 10 minutes. All right. So this isn't quick. <laughs> this is my jester's hat. And I've always wanted to teach this. And I never get around to teaching it. Like I've tried teaching this at three conventions and I'm only going to get like doing it halfway through here but I want to show you this awesome technique of doing this but anyway just this hat so for the just this hat you're going to need three of each different color, 321 cubes, okay? You're going to need three 260 cubes. You're going to grab you're going to need just a tiny, tiny bit of the balloon. The smaller the bubble, the easier it is to do what we're about to do. All right. Now, if you want to take the easy way out, just inflate a 321 Q. Tie it around like so. The problem with this, all right, I'm almost out of time. The problem with this <laughs> is that you get a horrible, horrible cut. So, what I do is I put the ball, I open up, I'm running out of time so I've got to go really quickly. I open up and I push the ball inside. All right? I then inflate the ball, the 321Q. The ball is now in here. I then tie it on this side with a scrap. I lay all the air out. I then turn it back inside out and then inflate it again. Right? And the knot is now inside. All right? It's inside the balloon. So it's like this perfect, beautiful join. You don't see anything. I then put a pinch twist in.
put a pinch twist in all three of these and then shape them like so. Should all know about hair bands and how many pedal twists should be in a hair band. It's up to you, six or seven. This attaches to this with a scrap and then all I do is I wrap a chain of gold 260s all the way around there like so. Okay? So that is it. This takes forever. I would not do this in a line. I would do this for me to wear and then give it away at the end of the event. I have like seven minutes left. All right. So I'm not going. Oh. If you'd like to upgrade the Baby Yoda, all I did with this one, it's the same balloon. I just added feet and I added the 260 around and down and then loops around there. So it's a little bit more detailed, but it's the same balloon. It's the same concept. All I did was add balloons around there. All right, so I'm done, apparently. They're like, get Dylan done, get out. Everybody else gets to run over time, but as soon as I'm the last guy, I have to give it up to Ted and Betty. I mean, it's Ted and Betty. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to me. Thank you, Keith and Dom. Thank you, Ted and Betty.